Well, I think what's wonderful about this is uh, all the voices that you, all the voices are here coming together through this project, and um, I love the idea of seeing us be a community and more cohesiveness and and more togetherness, cross disability, cross mis missions, cross efforts, and not. Um, that, well, the challenges that come when we become so, um, you know, my concern, my issue, my disability, my project, um, and, you know, insular around that rather than being a, a community and supportive of each other. And I, I've seen that as a challenge sometimes within the disability community a lot. And I think what I would love to see come out of this and out of our future goals is cohesiveness, togetherness, community, uh, power in numbers, power in, in the voice that we have by being together as a community. And, and of course the youth, I would like to see, I want to see out of this the, the youth voices. This is great stuff. Yes, and what they're so saying great. and what they're learning and how, as there are future, there are now present and there are future, what they've learned from our history that they're really advocating. Sometimes, like with women's movement, women today don't even think about that they, other women went before them to get into medical school and to be the only one and to be the only law school. That's, that's hardly even thought about anymore. And I wonder if that's going to happen in the disability world as young people start having their rights um, just there for them. Realized. And, they, and realize what went before them. And I'm curious what stage this community is at with that? Are young people more taking for granted ADA or, you know, 